Hey everybody, Robert here. I wanted to share some good news with you today. Uh, some of you may know that in March of 2020, Cheap Trick's classic 1978 live album, Cheap Trick at Budokan, was entered into the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C. Um, I think it's a huge honor for them. It's uh, something more prestigious, I feel, than them being inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, which they were in 2016. Um, that could be a separate video where I talk about my issues with the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Uh, regarding the Library of Congress, so for anyone unfamiliar, um, it's a huge institution in the States, uh, over millions of books, magazines, um, articles. It's, uh, they have a separate area for recordings, so that includes music, but also things like important speeches and uh, just important uh, moments in history that maybe were broadcast on radio or television. So. Uh, what happened was last week the Library of Congress contacted me through my publisher to see if I would write the essay that will accompany uh, Cheap Trick at Budokan in their collection. Uh, so of course I agreed. A um, lot of fun, uh, great opportunity. If you've read my book, Still Competition, um, the chapter on Budokan was sort of what I based uh, my essay on, but I added some more parts and there's some new information in there. Um, that's not in the book. So once everything is up and running, uh, things are on hold a little bit now because of the times that we are living in, but on the National Library of Congress webpage, there will be a listing where uh, Cheap Trick at Budokan will be, will be uh, listed there, and there'll be a tab next to it where you can click on it and uh, read what I wrote about it. So very cool that Cheap Trick are in the Library of Congress, and I'm very honored to be in there with them. Thanks.